Okay, this this room will be very interesting. <clears throat> because in Graveyard Peaks 04, there are a couple different ways to do different parts of the room. Uh, which may change or which may de be dependent on how, how hard you or how risky you want to go as well as depending on what route you're using for your run um, I will just show it off like I would usually do it in my run with the route that I'm using um, but I will afterwards go over every section and we will discuss the differences, the possible differences. Um, I will go over for that one. See if I can make it. cycle and those chokers we are right inside again get up here nice so most important for the first part here is that we once just for explanation what we wanted to hear these gaps that we have to cross uh, from wall to wall are so big that we usually the game needs us slash wants us to um, wait for the wind cycles um, the thing in this room though is that the wind cycle here or the wind cycles always start with wind coming from the left side so since we were going we want to go fast we want to catch that first uh, wind cycle to make it over to the right side and that's just possible on its own but we have this choker here flying around here in the way and the way you've seen me done it is I will usually try to hit him twice so he's still somewhat over on the on the right side, the right half of this uh, part. Because then we have enough time to get up here, this wall, and then when we jump over, we can use air impulses to A, kill this guy, and bridge the gap, and um, land on this uh, land on this wall. Um, the way I now usually get it pretty consistent is when we come in, I immediately slide, jump into the ladder, come up, and then immediately jump again. And then I have him in a spot where I can just use him across uh, over. And here we have to wait. Um, and let's reset here. Uh, and here is. Uh, a big decision point or a big decision point but a decision point uh, a route uh, essentially a route thing so what I do in my runs now is I grab this uh, mana um, upgrade because I want to be able to later use um, this, the lightning spell that we get from Estrus um, uh, I want to be able to use this twice uh, and without any mana upgrades, we will only have one and a half uses, basically. So we need one extra mana bar um, anyway. There is another very convenient spot later on in the run, in the Mother of Mothers. Um, I will definitely, when we get there, explain it. Um, where there is also a pretty convenient way to pick up 
um, the mana the mana upgrade. Uh, I w I do it here because uh, it gives me an opportunity to reset the wind cycles here when I leave the room and come back in. And so what I, what you have seen me done in my route is I get over to the left side, cast uh, use a cast to kill the wall guy, and then start uh, hitting the bell goes over to the right side. So uh, once it's once it's dead, I'm you know quicker on on this side of the room to to go to the mana upgrade. If you don't pick up this mana upgrade, um, you can basically do the same thing start without resetting the room here um i find it super convenient because when you clear out those guys on the left side first and then reset the room via the mana upgrade you have a perfect uh wind cycle have perfect wind cycles to get over there and then get up there um that's why I like to do it. Um, if you don't go for this mana upgrade, um, you should definitely just rush to the to the left, kill those guys, and the rest. The rest is basically the same. Uh, I would say. So let's just take care of those guys. To get to the next part. Uh, noteworthy, you can make some of those jumps when uh, when the wind is changing. There is like a brief period where there is no force pulling or pushing you. Um, so in this brief period, you can do regular jumps, basically, uh, which usually are still enough to bridge uh, like this gap, for example. Uh, but only if the wind just stopped basically um but yeah then once we come up here we want to make use of of the wind uh, again and then kill those guys as fast as possible and then in this case wait for the wind cycle so we can cross this gap um there is a point to be made um for an absolute yolo strat so basically only taking care of the wall guy here with a spell ignoring this ghost completely and make your way up here and ignore the other ghosts well i'll, I'll give it i will give it a try let me come back up here all right through the power of video editing we're back here <laughs> so let's try the yellow strat. That's basically the yellow strat for the upper part of this room. So yeah, it's it's basically you kind of have to pick and choose what you're comfortable with um, safety-wise if you want to kill those guys or not. I personally recommend killing them. Um, but yeah, I'm usually one of the runners that tries to be more on the safe side, I guess. But you know, that's totally up to you. <laughs> 